is that it was, as it said on the title page, appointed to be read in churches. To put that another way, it was a Bible that was translated with the express purpose of being read aloud. So it was read aloud in churches, in cathedrals, and indeed in private households where the head of the house would read the Bible during family devotions. It is this that accounts for the rhythms of, of the authorised version, the King James Version. It accounts for its grammar. It accounts for its, its, for its punctuation. It's meant to be read aloud, read aloud. And I hope very much that as you read this Bible, you will attempt to read it aloud as was intended in the 17th century. You'll find it's easy to remember if you do it that way. And I wish you pleasure of examining this, the most authentic of 17th century Bibles.